Alright, the next thing we want to do is to turn the cube over and solve for this top side. <coughs> the first thing we need to look for is an L or a centerpiece. Oh, sometimes you get a cross, I mean, it just varies every time. But say you have a case like this, if you have an L, you want to put it in the top left corner. This this piece doesn't matter. And then you want to take and you want to do your cross move, which is this one right here. Front clockwise, right clockwise, top clockwise, right clockwise, top or er, right counterclockwise, top counterclockwise, front counterclockwise. Alright, that's your cross move. So with this L in the top left, do that move. Front clockwise, right clockwise, top clockwise. Right counterclockwise, top counterclockwise, front counterclockwise. And that should give you a line straight across. Alright, with that line facing straight across, and a yellow piece facing you, you can do it with this side or with this side, since you have a yellow piece facing you. Do the same move. Front side clockwise, right side clockwise, top side clockwise, right side counterclockwise, top side counterclockwise, front side counterclockwise. Now you have a cross. Alright, this is where you get into different algorithms and it differs with what you do. Alright, the move that we're going to use is called the fish move. Or that's what I call it. Right here, fish move. Alright. This move is going to be right side clockwise, top side clockwise, right side counterclockwise, top side clockwise, right side clockwise, top side clockwise twice, right side counterclockwise. Alright, so write that, write that move down. Alright, you're going to get different cases when you do this, and I've drawn these up. Alright, this case right here, you have two rows soft and one in the middle okay and then you have two black pieces facing out alright that is this case right here two rows one in the center and two facing out away from the two rows alright what you want to do with the way I've drawn this up is the way I want you need to be facing the cube when you solve it alright if I have this when I do that cross move then I want to take and face it to where these black pieces are over here I want to face these two rows like this I want to face this side towards you right here face this side towards you this side towards you wherever the dots are at that's where you want it to be alright since we have this case right here this one right here the two facing you this side needs to be facing you. See how I have it drawn up? Alright. And do the fish move. Right side clockwise, top side clockwise. Right side counter, top side clockwise. Right side clockwise, top side clockwise twice. Right side counter, and that gives you a fish. See it? Alright. These are the different cases that you can get. There's a figure eight and you might want to write these down or draw them up but it, say if you have these like this you want this side facing you you want this side facing you you want this side facing you okay alright so once you get the fish you want to take and put the nose of the fish this corner right here in the bottom left okay and then you want to do the fish move again right side clockwise top side clockwise Right side counter, top side clockwise. Right side clockwise, top side twice. Right side counter. That'll give you another fish. So you put it in the bottom left and do the move again. If you have a yellow facing you when you do the move, it'll take one time. But if you don't have yellow right here, then it'll take two times. Alright, so do the fish move again. Right side clockwise, top side clockwise. Right side counter, top side clockwise. Right side clockwise, top side twice. Solve your lights. That will solve your top. Alright, the next step is called 
or next thing you want to put the corners where they match each other. See how these two are the same? They match each other. These two aren't, so they don't. These two don't, and these two don't. So what I want to do is face the two corners that are correct. Sometimes you won't get any correct. And sometimes you'll just get lucky and they'll all be correct. But if you have two that are correct, you want to face them away from you. So if the blue side's correct, you want to have the green side looking at you. And then you want to do the corner correction move. It's right here. Right counterclockwise, front clockwise. Right counterclockwise, back side twice. Right, or right clockwise, front side counterclockwise. Right counterclockwise, back side twice right side counterclockwise twice so it should look something like this be right counterclockwise front clockwise right counterclockwise back side twice it doesn't matter which way you turn it because it'll end up in the same spot Okay. right side clockwise front side counterclockwise right side counterclockwise back side twice right side counterclockwise twice that should have lined all your corners up alright now the next thing you want to do is call a center rotation this is going here this one's going here this one's going here sometimes when you do the corner move all four corner or all four center pieces will be out of place but most of the time you get a case where one side is completely solved when you have that case you want to face that away from you. See? The side of the solve is away from you. And then you want to do this move. The center rotation. Right clockwise, top counterclockwise. Right clockwise, top clockwise. Right clockwise, top clockwise. Right clockwise, top counterclockwise. Right counterclockwise, top counterclockwise. Right counterclockwise twice. And it should look something like this. It's going to be right top counterclockwise, right side clock, top side clock, right side clock, top side clock, right side clock, top side counter, right side counter, top side counter, fix your whites, and it'll solve your cube. Sometimes you'll have to do that move twice. Alright, you got one side solved. Alright, this one's going here, this one's going here, and that one's going there. So say if I do that move again. See, it didn't solve it, so I have to do it one more time. There you go. But, um, just take a look at the sheet and write all of these moves down. And you should be able to solve it. And here's another look at the permutation sheet for which side should be facing you after you get your cross.